Welcome to the Windows and Computer channel and this is a quick look at what is uh, changed in the security uh, side of things in Windows 10 May 2019 update. So everywhere there are some subtle changes in the May 2019 update. They might not look real uh, big and you know when you actually first go into the May 2019 update you might not see much of a difference but there are some changes and one of them is on the security app in the security app there's one thing and of course this is what was called Windows Defender at some point and now it's called Windows Security and um, in the virus and threat protection if you ever have or encounter some viruses you have a lot more information and possibilities in this version before it would scan, it would you know tell you you got a threat, and it would ask you what you want to do, and it'd be rather uh, simplistic the things that could be done, and of course in some cases you might want to have more information. So when you are faced with a threat, protection history is more detailed now. So in my case, I've not been in contact with viruses. I almost um, kind of you know wanted to get some kind of file to kind of you know just do a little quick infection to have you guys see a little more but uh, basically this protection history as not only the list of what you've encountered viruses that might have been infecting your machine or that you have you know and, and, and sometimes it's subtle because you might have been in contact with a you know malware but the security app might have actually removed it and things have happened so fast that you might just not have noticed anything. Well, here in the protection history, you'll see all the information. And it's important to know it exists because if you think you're safe, if you think everything's all right, if you, for some reason, haven't noticed that something might be wrong, the protection history will always give you a detailed list of what was encountered, the file that was infected, the, their location on your hard drive, and if you actually see it come a few times or if you see it multiple times what's interesting is that you might actually get a pattern of oh when I do this I always get infected with that thing uh, and you know it's nice to see what's happened you'll also see either the actions that were taken uh, was it removed was it you know uh, quarantined and so on there's more details here than there were before and uh, hopefully it actually will make it easier for you to understand. Remember that security is your uh, problem. A lot of people say, well, you know, I use other uh, antivirus because I don't think that antivirus is good. I don't mind and I don't care the antivirus you use. I, I said it so many times because the antivirus is not at all your protection. It doesn't matter. You are the number one protection if you got viruses you're the one that's doing something wrong it's not the antivirus that's a problem and you got to remember that and so uh, protection history is a nice little place to go once again you go to your security app uh, Windows security there's a little shield there on the uh, taskbar go into virus and threat protection and in here you'll see protection history and all the details of what you've encountered uh, the actions that were actually uh, done on that and uh, all the other information that actually might be very helpful to learn a little more about your security. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.